guys, Brent Ayler here with Daiwa, and we are checking out some of the brand new rods. This happens to be the Tatula Elite Signature Series. Absolutely love them. The nice thing about this is I've had a lot of input. This is not a, hey, if you like this rod, let's do it. This is, tell us everything that you want in a fishing rod for a specific technique and we will build it for you. Uh, this right here is a 7.4 cranking rod. It's a medium heavy action cranking rod that I had Daiwa design. Medium heavy action, regular bend. It's a great multi-purpose, shallow to mid cranking crankbait, uh, as well as a uh, bladed jig. This rod is one that I'm gonna have on the deck for lots of uses. Really a big fan for a glass rod. Uh, when it comes to cranking as well as, as that bladed jig but medium heavy regular action bend it's a fairly parabolic bend glass so it's pretty damp meaning that when you're wanting a crankbait you don't feel as much when that fish bites what i think happens with graphite is people tend to pull too hard and pull too quickly it doesn't have that damp bend to it when a fish bites it so uh, the medium heavy action bend helps you to hook and land those fish that are barely hooked on a crankbait on a little treble hook. So the Tatula Elite Signature Series, this is the Brent Ayler model, will be available this spring at dealers near you. Woo! It is a cold morning, and we're gonna try and crank with some of the new stuff from Daiwa here. Some of the Signature Series Tatula Elites, and also the brand new Tatula with the SV spool. You know, one thing I noticed about the, the SV spool on the Tatula is how easy it casts. Having that shallower spool really helps for casting. You have less weight at the base of that spool, which allows it to cast freer and easier. Um, you know, the, the neat thing about the Tatula SV is that it's, it's a versatile reel. It's not just for casting small baits. I mean, that's what it really excels at, but you can cast every bait. You know, it's a versatile reel, but now you have something that backlashes less and gives you the ability to cast real small baits too. Right now I'm cranking. This is something I like to do in the fall and winter time is crank hard targets, whether it's wood or, or especially rock. The rock's my favorite thing to crank in the winter time. I'm using the Tatula Elite cranking rod that I designed. It's a glass rod. It's a 7.4 medium heavy. Now the reason I like the glass rod is that you have a lot of dampening to it. Now I say dampening because with a graphite rod there's so much sensitivity to it and depending on the action of the rod you might have too much backbone so when a fish bites it I think we react too much to it. And when we react, we pull that, that crankbait out of the fish's mouth. With a good parabolic bend and a glass rod, when they bite it, that rod bows into them instead of kind of snapping and popping it out. So 7.4 medium heavy is the one that I designed and it's very versatile. You can use it for a lot of different techniques. That's a fish, that's a good one. Oh boy, if you got foul hooks, I got a real big one. I can't tell how he's hooked. Nice one there. Ah! Oh, I get my hands wet. Oh boy. Okay, that right there is a prime example for using a glass rod, okay? This fish is just hooked on that tail treble. I just had one before that nipped it and missed it. They're not biting. That fish right there, I probably would have lost if I had a graphite rod. So 7.4, medium heavy glass rod, Tattoo Elite, is a perfect rod for landing big fish like this. Pair it with the SV Tatula, and you got an awesome cranking setup catch big ones like that in the middle of winter. That fish right there just came on a, a 1.5, the original 1.5, the Lake Craft 1.5, but 
The thing that makes this bait special to me is it's a color I designed. It's actually called B.E. Gill. It's a great bluegill imitation. Anytime you have bluegill swimming shallow, uh, spring, summer, fall, uh, really good bait. In the winter right now, there have been a lot of bluegill up shallow. So I went with that B.E. Gill and man, that fish smoked it. Having this setup is truly the, you know, the ultimate cranking setup. And again, I will not have any doubts on what I'm doing wrong because this is what they will, you know, all be able to land these fish with. Something else that's really beneficial in cranking is making sure that bait is hitting bottom. There's fish. Right there, in fact, I was just talking about how hitting bottom is key and I was feeling that crankbait plowing down there on the bottom and that fish bit it. Now, now I say plowing on the bottom. Deflection is really the, the trick for cranking. It's having that bait deflect off of something. You can exaggerate it by popping the rod. Um, you, know, you can exaggerate it by real speed, but a square bill like the 1.5 is really designed to hit targets and deflect. That change in direction, that directional change is what triggers strikes. Now, that one I didn't have to worry about. He ate it. I mean, he had all hooks in his mouth, uh, but having that 7.4 medium heavy glass rod, Tattoo Elite glass rod one I designed is uh, to me a key for landing fish. I mean, this one you could have landed that on a broom pole because he ate it so well, but you know, that was the right color combination. It was deflecting off the rocks, he ate it. So, uh, Tatula, SV spool, you can cast that bait a long ways. It's so crisp, so smooth, Catch a nice fish. One thing I'll try when I'm cranking, I don't do it all the time, just if I feel like uh, I'm losing a lot of fish, is I'll change out the hooks. Uh, I mean, I always change hooks. I put Gamagato on there. Uh, what I've done with this, what I kind of change up is I'm running a number four round bend treble on the front, a Gamagato. Then I'm running a four EWG on the back. Now the reason for the EWG on the back is that I feel like the EWG traps the fish better. Meaning that when they nip at it and they bite it, if you get a hook in them, you're gonna land that fish. With the EWG bend on there, if they're just nipping at the tail of that, that crankbait, you run that EWG on the back, your odds go way up of landing those fish. So I'm, I'm less scared when I see that fish swimming around and jumping out there, when all you see is that tail treble in their mouth, I think your odds go way up. So, little tip to try cranking is putting that you know, EWG bend on the back like that. You know, prime example of that EWG bend is that first one I caught this morning, you know, big one, a five pounder, and he just had that tail treble on there. And I was a little worried about losing him, but when I actually grabbed the hooks to try and pull it out, there's no chance of him coming off. I mean, he was hooked really well, but it's, it's scary when they start jumping around and you just see that one little treble hook back there. So. Well, that EWG, you know, Ben definitely helped me land that fish. And, uh, you know, if I catch another one here and he's hooked on that tail, there's a good chance I'll be able to catch him as well. Jeez, he dropped slack in my line. Nice one, too. Boy, there's nothing better than wintertime cranking like this. <laughs> Oh, such a nice fish. Look at that. Big one. He's got that. He's got that 1.5 all over in his face. Ha. I gotta scoop him because I can't get into his mouth. There we go, I got him. <laughs> oh, they're so fat, man. So fat, so healthy. So fun catching them with this pairing. What a great morning cranking here. Uh, I can't tell you how effective this combo is. The 7.4 Tatula Elite Diawa rod 
with a brand new Tatula SV spool. I'm able to cast in the wind, be more effective out here on the water, and catch more fish.